Welcome back to Daytime, everyone. Childhood obesity rates in America are soaring. Obesity puts kids at risk for diabetes, hypertension, and heart disease. And we haven't even touched upon the emotional element yet. That can have the biggest impact as many obese children suffer from low self-esteem. Dr. Ben Michaelis is a psychologist who says obese children can overcome low self-esteem and create positive change through creative expression. The doctor is here to tell us just how this can be achieved. Good to have you here. Thanks so much for having me. I'm so yeah, so what do we do? How, how does creative expression really impact these kids? Creativity is the natural instinct for, for all people to express something of themselves and to share that with other people. And kids especially need this to be promoted in their early years. And kids with obesity who tend to stay in, be more isolated, have more difficulty with problem solving, really need to develop these skills so they can sort of think different ways. Okay. I think a lot of people, their first instinct is, well, let, well, let's just have them eat less and get up and go outside and run around. And that'll solve everything. Yeah, and that's exactly, it's only part of the equation, really. The emotional toll is, is so significant because these kids tend to be, you know, again, isolated and really uh, uh, made fun of by their peers, so they tend to stay in, and they're not doing things to express themselves, which is really difficult for them in the long run. So how do we get them to express themselves? Well, everyone has one way of expressing themselves, and parents can try to figure out what their kid's natural mode of expression is. Some kids are natural performers. Uh, for example, I think we have a video of, of one girl who is a born performer. Her name is Zoe, um, and she is just, oh, she expresses her herself, yeah, through dance and through <laughs> song. And, uh, and that's, you know, that's a, a beautiful thing. And, you know, kids that are natural performers, like <laughs> Zoe, you're not going to really miss so that. <laughs> and as a parent, you really want to encourage that, right? Because yep. Zoe's moving around. That's great. And expressing herself. Absolutely. And kids that are natural performers, you're going to see that automatically. Kids that like to tell jokes, kids that like to dance, sing, what have you. Other skills, other sort of creative expressions are less obvious. So kids that like to write or that like stories, you can, you can promote that. Kids that are less verbal, there's other ways to express yourself through art, through uh, visual means. So we have some, uh, I think, some, some images of art that kids, the way they express themselves. I think we have an image of a mask that an eight-year-old boy who was having difficulty expressing himself when he transitioned to a new school hmm. that he made for his parents as a way of letting them know what was going on for him. So find out what their talent is and then really encourage it to build their confidence. Absolutely. It's pretty basic, actually. You think about it and you say, hey, that's what you want to do for your children anyway, but especially with children with weight issues. Absolutely, because again, when when you when you tend to isolate during those during those prime years, that becomes a pattern that sets throughout life. And if they have the skills to express themselves through all of these different means, they can do that as they can become adolescents and adults. Because life throws you the inevitable curveball, and if you know how to express yourself in different ways, it's just much healthier. But does but does this help then take care of the? problem of obesity? Right. I mean, where does, how do we go from that to then losing weight? Great question. When things get tough, kids that are obese or overweight tend to go automatically to the empty calories. They, they run to the refrigerator when things get tough. Mm -hmm. They don't have any ways, any tools to express themselves. And giving them these things, which as you say, s seem quite simple, but allow them the flexibility of thought and ways to um, to let other people know what's going on for them, so they're not just isolating. And they're just expressing themselves in a different way. Exactly, it's it's going out as opposed to coming in. What if it's not oh, obvious to you what your kids are really passionate about, or, or how a good way to express themselves? I mean, do you hand them a camera and go, "Hey, try this"? Or, <laughs> I mean, what do you do? You can do that. Uh, you you can watch your kids. You know, just keep an eye on them. Learn what it is that interests them. If you have a creative passion, if you like to knit, uh, or if you like to uh, express yourself through song, chances are your kid's natural creative language is probably not going to be that different from your own. And you can also share other experiences, look at art, go to a museum, things of that nature, and interpret art. These are all great ways of getting the mind working and learning about self-expression. Good tips. Dr. Ben Michaelis, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, still ahead, keep watching for your chance to win today's giveaway. We'll have all the details in just a bit. Stay with us.